Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm currently going through 400 MP3s trying to find a song that I've misplaced sometime in the past 10 years. It's like Trash City, Bad Dream, Vigilante, The Angels Never Sleep. And I got to the uh, the residence and I'm like, well, that definitely isn't it. So let's do a leak code problem. 1457, pseudopalindromic paths in a binary tree. Um, given a binary tree where nodes are, where node values are digits one to nine, a path in the binary tree is said to be pseudopalindromic if at least one permutation of the nodes, of the node values in the path is a palindrome. Return the number of pseudopalindromic paths going, if at least one permutations in the path. Okay, it has to end on a leaf node, right? Well, yeah, yeah, because otherwise that would be, that would be one. Um, originally, I was going to use a counter, but I don't actually think that that's the, uh, that's the, the, the right thing to do. So let's just use, uh, they're one to nine, right? So let's just use an, ten. Um, R let's have an external counter like this and then we can do non non local uh, CNT all right and then we are going to have a node and a uh, I don't know a state s for state. <laughs> All right. Okay. Assert n is not none. We should not arrive at a none, and the tree should always have something in it, right? Yes. So let's see here. Now, um, if n dot left is not none and n dot right is not none, then we're going to have to split this list up. Now, the contract that we are going to sign is that um, we only pass off an array if we no longer need it, and if um, and if it's okay for the child to change it. So we will say s copy equals s dot copy like that, and then um, we're going to have to increase this. So, okay, okay. The first thing that this should do is increment itself because that's always going to happen. So we'll say s of uh, none, no, s of n dot val. Um, plus equals one. All right, n dot left is not none, and n dot right is not none. Then we have children going both directions, and s dot. Actually, no, that's that's all we need to do because we we incremented it here. So let's just recurse. N dot left s dot copy and n dot right s because we don't need two copies that should be fine now if there's only one child then we don't need to copy we can just pass it on in its current state if n dot right is not none, then we can just pass it on in, a, in its current state. And if there are no children, then we are a leaf node and we need to evaluate if we're a palindrome or not. So um, it's any permutation, so we can mix it up. So we're going to have to have even numbers of everything, or we're going to have to have at most. Um, one, um, what am I trying to say? One, uh, one, one odd. 
So let's do C equals uh, counter of I mod 2 for I in S. And so we should have a bunch of zeros and uh, at most one. So if C of one is lesser than or equal to one, then C and T plus equals one. Every other thing should be a, should be a palindrome, right? Now we just need to call this R of root and we need to initialize it with 10 of these. All right, none is not a valid value for the expected return type integer. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. So let's see what this does. All right, sweet. Now, it said that I had done this before, but the code didn't uh, didn't pop up. So let's see if we can figure out what happened. Wait, not there. Solutions. It's not listing any other solutions, but it says I did it before. I don't know, maybe it was too long ago and it deleted it or something. Is there a view other solutions? I feel like I had to click that once. Once. All submissions, that's it. So, Python 3. I don't know why it didn't load. Um... Powers of two or zero. What in God's name was I doing? What? Oh, 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 that is clever. Well, I shouldn't talk myself up like that. Okay, okay. So all I was doing was um, XOR the power of two of the value, and then at the end I was able to do a, uh, a bit count um, at most one power of two. Uh, is, this, is this significantly faster? Hmm. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Here, I won't, I won't, I won't copy this. Uh, all right, so same thing. We're gonna have an external counter, n Now, at every point along the path, we're gonna have a current value, right? And then we are going to say uh, C mod equal, or not mod equal, yes. Um, C XOR, that, that's what I meant to say. Uh, n dot val, and then we're going to say if n dot left is none and n dot right is none, then um, if, uh, how do you do this? Uh, CNT dot bit count, is that right? Uh, is lesser than two, then CNT plus equals one, not C, if C. Um, not none and it's not none then we're going to split two different ways but here we're just going to do n dot left of c and n dot right of c oh this is much better i wonder if i peeked at somebody else's uh solution because that's just a little bit more clever than i feel okay now we're going to come down to the individual legs here n dot left is not none, then we only have left and all other cases. We have this and return CNT. And I think we do have to do non-local CNT with the proper indent. 
Invalid syntax. Durr. Rob Schneider, derp de derp. Wrong answer. Well, that's unfortunate. Bit count is less than two. What is the bit count? Print C and C dot bit count. Oh, oh, oh. I never called it. I'm hopeless. Int object has no attribute bit count. Did you mean bit count? But how did you know? All right, there we go. And that should probably be a little faster too. Woohoo, beats 100%, sweet. All right, well, see ya.